He is known for being a high-ranking military officer during the late Roman Republic. He served as Tribune of the Plebs and was one of Julius Caesar's top lieutenants in Gaul. His name is Titus Labienus. In the annals of Roman history, one name stands out as a legendary figure, Titus Labienus, a high-ranking military officer in the late Roman Republic. Born during a time of political turmoil, Labienus rose through the ranks to become one of Julius Caesar's most trusted lieutenants. His military prowess and strategic brilliance were renowned, making him a key figure in Caesar's campaigns in Gaul. Labienus proved his mettle time and time again, leading troops with unwavering dedication and skill. His contributions to Caesar's victories in Gaul were instrumental in expanding the Roman Empire's reach. However, as history often shows, loyalties can be tested and alliances can crumble. When the civil war broke out, Labienus made the fateful decision to oppose his former commander. It was a choice that would ultimately lead to his demise. In the Battle of Munda, Labienus fought valiantly but tragically lost his life. His death marked the end of an era, a loyal soldier falling in the pursuit of his principles. Titus Labienus' story is one of honor, loyalty, and the complexities of political allegiances. His military achievements and his ultimate sacrifice on the battlefield serve as a reminder of the profound significance of political events in shaping the course of history. Labienus' legacy endures as a symbol of the courage and conviction that can be found even in the most challenging and tumultuous times. In the midst of the chaos following Caesar's crossing of the Rubicon, Labienus, a trusted general, made a fateful decision. He abandoned his post in Cisalpine Gaul and joined forces with Pompey, the rival of Caesar. Labienus's arrival on the Pompeian side was met with great enthusiasm, as he brought with him Gallic and German cavalry, along with valuable intelligence on Caesar's military strength. Recognizing Labienus's capabilities, Pompey appointed him as the commander of the cavalry. Labienus, convinced of Caesar's vulnerabilities, urged Pompey to confront him in Italy rather than retreating to Hispania for regrouping. He argued that Caesar's army was weakened after his campaigns in Gaul. However, Labienus's fortunes took a turn for the worse under Pompey's leadership, mirroring his previous success under Caesar. Labienus faced a major setback at the Battle of Pharsalus, where he commanded the cavalry. Following the defeat, he fled to Corsera and then sought refuge in Africa upon hearing of Pompey's death. In order to rally the followers of Pompey, Labienus resorted to deception, falsely claiming that Caesar had been fatally wounded in the battle. With a sizable force, he managed to momentarily halt Caesar's advance at the Battle of Ruspina in 46 BC. By cleverly organizing his troops in dense formations, he tricked Caesar into underestimating his cavalry strength, resulting in the routing of Caesar's forces. However, Labienus ultimately failed to secure a decisive victory and was forced to withdraw from the field. Labienus's final chapter unfolded in the Battle of Munda, a fiercely contested clash between Caesar's army and the sons of Pompey. During the battle, King Bogud, an ally of Caesar, launched a surprise attack from the rear. Labienus, leading the Pompeian cavalry, swiftly responded by diverting his forces to meet the new threat. Unfortunately, this move was misinterpreted by the Pompeian legions as a retreat, leading to their demoralization and subsequent disintegration. The Pompeians suffered heavy losses in the ensuing rout, and Labienus met his demise on the battlefield. According to Appian, Labienus's head was presented to Caesar as a trophy. In a gesture of respect for his fallen comrade, Caesar dispatched men to locate Labienus's body and accorded him a proper burial with full honors. Labienus's death at the Battle of Munda marked the end of Caesar's civil war, solidifying Caesar's dominance and shaping the course of Roman history. Do you want to explore more politician or military strategist? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.